Hello guys, quick video this time from my home office without that fancy microphone, but I think the quality should be still okay. And I want to demonstrate a few new features in Laravel 8.12 and above related to having with count on the relationships, whether it belongs to or belongs to many. Probably a few of you will know that there is a feature called author with count, which means that you can load the model with count of relationships and it will return the amount of records for every record of author. So in my case, author and books are many to many relationship belongs to many. And if I load that on the page, I'm using Spati Laravel Ray as kind of a debugger because it shows models really visually. So I'm not doing DD or var dump or anything. I do Ray models and it shows it in an elegant way. So books count one, books count three, books count two. In the database, the data looks like this. The database table should be actually called author book according to all the standards, but this is called from one of my junior developers project. This was just for demonstration of with count and a few more new features that appeared in 8.12 and above. Did you know that you can also use with sum of books and then any field that you want to sum? For example, in my books table, there is a field called price. So what if you want to calculate total price for all the authors? We clear the array, refresh the page, and what do you have? Books, sum, price. So it automatically calculates the sum of price field. Similar to that, there's with average, like this. Again, clear array, refresh the page, and we have average price for every author. And also there's with min and with max. Clear, refresh, and we have books min price. And what queries are running under the hood? Let's return anything, and I have Laravel debug bar installed which will show the actual query. Let's close the array for now. So select authors and then there's a sub query select min books price from books. So I don't think there's any negative uh, on performance on amount of queries. It does look like it's working in effective way. And this function was submitted by Khalil Lale. I hope I pronounced it correctly in October of 2020 and it was merged in 8.12.3 but also there were a few reports afterwards that something was not working for something and Dries fixed something in November of 2020. Well, anyway, in current Laravel 8 version, it's all fixed and it's working. If you have 8.12 or something, then please test it if it works for you. That's it, a small improvement, but Laravel has a lot of small improvements. And if you wanna know more about them on this channel, subscribe and see you guys in other videos.